I just got back from my walk. Um, I've been consistently walking morning and uh, afternoon, half an hour each, uh, totaling 10,000 steps a day. I've been doing that for the past, when did I start? I think this is the fifth day. And this is definitely what I needed to kind of kickstart my fitness journey. I've tried so many times to get in shape. I've tried, you know, programs and just doing it, you know, cold turkey, like eliminating junk food and just dieting, but not really putting the effort in. So I figured, what can I do that I know I can start and stop and be consistent with every day? And that's walking. Um, I don't do like a slow walk. I do a brisk fast pace, three miles an hour, uh, walking like a brisk walk, um, totaling 10,000 steps a day. And so far I've been doing really well with it. Uh, really well with it. I could feel my stamina building. Um, I also incorporated um, jump rope and I do that for about 10 to 15 minutes a day. And that burns so many calories in a small window. It's insane. And I, it is working so well with me. So I'm very happy. I cannot wait to show you the results. Um, I've omitted uh, checking the scale every day because I find myself getting discouraged when I don't see that number drop. So for right now, I'm not measuring my success with a scale. I'm measuring it with a tape measure. So I'm measuring all the parts of my body um, and seeing how they start to shrink. Um, daily or every couple days and so far the results are pretty insane so um but yeah if you want to see like a video dedicated to just my fitness journey uh like this video and just let me know let me know down below heading to Whole Foods. I need to stock up on some produce and get a couple extra things. <sighs> the weather is actually uh, pretty nice out. It's about 75 degrees out. I'm not mad about it. I'm very excited for fall. I love the fall. I'm a fall person. So as soon as I feel that breeze in the air, I turn into a basic white girl. Where's my sweaters? Where's my hot beverages? I'm all about it. peanut butter or almond butter because I didn't want to keep using peanut butter for my smoothies they don't have it come on I really wanted to get almond butter today I'm very upset so now I gotta go to Trader Joe's I gotta go just got to Trader Joe's and of course I forgot my bag at home I should just keep it in my car I don't know why I keep it in my house but it's very annoying I wish I remember to freaking bring it with me <laughs> So 
I ended up getting this really cute succulent or succulent. Um, I don't know if this would survive in my bathroom, but I guess I'll try it. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a little go. I'm excited about it though. All right, so I just got back from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. I ended up getting this almond butter, raw almond butter creamy, no salt. This is basically just raw almonds. Um, so I'm very excited. This was probably the most expensive thing I bought at Trader Joe's ever. <laughs> This is about almost $7 for one item. Um, and then I also ended up getting this regular peanut butter that um, this is, it's just peanuts and a little bit of salt. Um, my son likes this one a lot. So I got this one for my son. So hopefully this one tastes good. If this one tastes good, then I'll just end up getting this one from now on. So we'll see. I'm going to I'm gonna make my, uh, my smoothie now and see how it tastes. I'm very excited. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my um, protein shake. I uh, use this Orgain Organic Protein with Superfoods. Um, I don't really like this one because I could definitely taste like the artificial sugar. I don't know why they they added like, there's stevia in here, which I don't know why they would add stevia um, right here to this. I could definitely taste it, but it does have like some fruits and veggies. That's what the Superfoods is. So it has organic greens grasses organic berries and fruits uh, some sprouts um, it's a plant-based protein powder some veggies and herbs and ancient grains so it has all of this um, but you can definitely taste the difference between this one and the other one which is uh, this one so to my smoothie i like to add frozen bananas um, I do frozen bananas because I like um, the cold consistency and the texture. So I'm just going to scoop some of these out. So I like to put that much uh, frozen bananas in there. It's probably like a banana and a half. All right, so now to that, I'm gonna add two scoops of this protein powder. So one. Two. This, I'll do one scoop of nut butter. So about one good sized tablespoon. So don't drop now. Try to make this as clean. There we go. My hands are clean. And then I'll add um, about almost a cup of almond milk. I really like using coconut beverage or coconut milk. And then I'll throw in like an ice cube or two just to make sure that it's really cold and then blend it up. And there we go. There's the shake. Okay, now the taste test. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely behind schedule. It's two o'clock right now and I this is my first meal of the day. So I'm trying to do also intermittent fasting, the 16, eight. My last meal last night was at 6.30 or closest, closer to seven. So I wasn't allowed to have my first meal until 11 this morning. So I'm definitely behind schedule, but it is what it is.
I just did 20 minutes of jump rope and I think I exerted all my energy.